out for the first time in two weeks. First thing in the morning and it is so cold out here. They said it's like minus, I'm trying to put on my mitt, minus 17 or something. And then, it's not cold. It's cold. Wait till you're waiting for a while. Of course, Sophie is. It's it is. Cool. It's all pure ice. You can walk on it. All pure ice at my school. I know, but they won't let you play in it, will they? Nope. Anyway, it was so hard to convince um, Gabby to dress appropriately for the weather. Nick is sitting with Sophie because she is clearly way too sick to come to school. She woke up even worse today, I think. Are you worried about your sister? Stupid gloves, I can't even loosen my strap. I know. Terrible, do you want it on your back? Yeah, but I need them to Look at the ice, you guys. Ice right on the ground. Look at that, this way it looks like a skating rink. See how shiny the snow looks? It's like pure ice. It's Gabby, ice. It's, it is ice. It, whoa, pure ice, that's why they don't let you out at school. Come on, let's get going. We gotta hurry. Ten minutes in the snow, you guys, and this is what happens. This is what it looked like. It was frozen. This hat of Sophie's, it's no good. It didn't keep me warm at all, but this did help. This scarf. Whew. My glasses got all fogged up when I came in. I couldn't even see. It's supposed to get warmer today, though. Holy cow. Not a day I want to go out again in. Holy. So, today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to take Sophie in to get checked. Did I tell you guys that already? Anyway, I'm gonna take her in to get checked, but look outside, look who's visiting. I don't know what he's eating. I wish I would remember to clean that window. Anyway, he's out there eating something. So I realized I have this granola that Sam bought that nobody will eat. And it's got raisins and oatmeal and stuff. So I'm gonna put that out there and see if they'll eat it. Of course they'll eat it because it's not healthy. Anything that's not healthy, they love. Just like teenagers. All right, I'm sure he's gonna run off as soon as I walk out there. He's a little boy because he's not running off yet. What's he eating? Looks like he's eating some kind of a seed. Oh, a chip. What'd you get, big guy? Woo, freezing. There you go, try that. Try that good stuff. Whoa, it is cold. It is like colder than cold, but it's supposed to get warm. It's supposed to warm up throughout the day. I'm gonna watch and see if he comes back, but yeah. Anyway, I'm just waiting for Sam to come home because I want us to go together. I don't like to do, take her to the doctor by myself, especially because usually when you go to the doctor, they're like, well, she just has to get over it. And the only reason I'm taking her is because everybody else got over it already and she's still not able to even sit up. She's still laying down and not doing well. So I'm just gonna get her checked out, make sure nothing else is going on. She doesn't seem to be in um, respiratory distress, which is one of the big reasons why I usually take her in because that usually happens to her. And she doesn't seem to be in respiratory distress. So I don't know, I don't know what it could be. It could be just the flu and that she just has to, she's just gonna take longer, but maybe she needs help, who knows. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and we're gonna see and Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. Told ya, he's back. I don't think he'll let me. Oh, he ran off. Whoa! <laughs> All right, we're on our way. Uh, Sylvie's not too happy to be up and walking and moving around. She's not gonna like sitting there for a long time, sitting in the car. You okay? You look pretty white. Anyway, um, Sam and I are in this huge disagreement. I think that when she gets better, she'll eat. And he thinks that she needs to eat to get better. Are you okay? Can you get in? Yeah, I eat these boots. I know. Sit down there, Mama will help you. You know, before you became a robotic. You okay? Good? I've never seen Sophie so grouchy before in my life. She takes after her dad like that, I think. He's grouchy when he's sick. I guess we're all grouchy when we're sick. It's true. I believe that she does need to eat to feel good, but I feel like she will eat when she's better. And he doesn't believe me. So I'm gonna ask the doctor and see what he has to say. All right, so we're in a merge and it doesn't look good. Honestly, I'm trying to keep from crying. I just feel, I can't even talk about it. 
can't even talk about it anyway. They think she has pneumonia. Do you think you have pneumonia? They said that her left upper quadrant is not awesome. She's really congested in there, but she's not wheezy, and that's what I was looking for. I was looking for some wheeze. Anyway, she, they took us right in, so that was really lucky. Was it not lucky? I was deciding, even on the way here, I was thinking we shouldn't come, and I told her that, that I never feel comfortable bringing them unless I know for sure they're sick, and she said she could tell instantly that she needed to be here, so that made me feel better. Hey, look who's sitting up. Right? Are you sitting up? We are standing outside x-ray, just getting waiting to get her x-ray. They think she has pneumonia and her um, O2 stat was only 92. None of her stats were very good. So I don't know, but things look are starting to look like maybe we're not going to be going home. You want to sleep over? Well, we'll pray. Pray they'll give you medicine and you'll be okay. Okay? You got a snake coming down to your arm. That's what called a butterfly needle. See? Looks like I guess a butterfly. it looks like it has wings, I guess. See? Do you see the wings? I don't have a table in here. I just going to put that for you as a table, okay? Look at how pretty your blood is, Sophie. Keep losing money. There we go. All right. Mom will hold that for you. All right. I'm just going to put that over your head there, okay? Leave that. It's going in your eye. You can just close your eyes if it's bugging you that way. Does that feel okay or too tight? A little bit tight. You want it a bit stuck. How's that? Okay. I'm just going to turn it on. It's just going to be a bit of a mess there if you remember. A bit noisy. Just breathe normally. Okay, it takes about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back down when that's done and the blood work. Okay. Okay, great. Right. Thank you so much. Right, so say it, say it, say, Dad, I am your daughter. <laughs> no, you need Gabby to say, say that. Dad, I am your daughter, like Darth Vader, you know? Hooray, we're home! We're home and we're back exactly where we started, right? So anyway, they want us to, we went to the hospital really close to us instead of to the hospital that we usually go to that has a pediatric department. This one does not have a pediatric department and it's much smaller. So basically <coughs> he said he wanted us to come home with some medicine and try and let her get over it on her own. And if she doesn't change or get better in a few days, we will take her back and we'll take her to the um, hospital that has a pediatric uh, department. She had some Ventolin. Right, you had a Ventolin treatment, <coughs> right? And her oxygen level was 93 after that. So they, at that hospital, they want her oxygen to be at 91 before they admit her. So it was 93, so that's really good. Um, usually when she gets admitted to the hospital with breathing problems, they want her oxygen level to be 97 while she's sleeping because apparently when you sleep they drop drastically so they want them to be 97 when she's sleeping so I don't know how that changes but I guess he kind of said that the criteria for admitting a kid with um, respiratory problems is different at six than it is when you're younger and so she's always been admitted and they didn't do what yeah and they didn't do any, like normally when we take her to the hospital with the pediatric, um, with the pediatric department, they, they do a swab and they see what she has, what's wrong with her. They didn't do that and they just didn't do a lot of things that they normally do. So I feel really nervous about bringing her home, but I really want her to get over this on her own. I want this to be the very first time that she ever can kick something on her own. And... I'll know in a couple of days if we need to go back and that's all we can do, but I'm glad we took her. Are you glad we took her? Sam so was a pain in the butt the whole time we were there, you guys. Oh my gosh. Honestly, six kids is probably the hardest thing on your marriage. Wow. How's it going? You feeling better? You feeling a little bit better? Stay home another day? I noisy. Yeah, you've been... My nose out. You've been running around. Because my plug, plug the nose. Yeah. So you're eating now? You're eating something finally? 
That's awesome. Bye. So is it better to popsicle? Yeah, so my question is, is it better to eat make you feel better or not eat make you feel better? Uh, Anyways, you look like you're getting better now. High five done. I ate a little bit of that one. I know, I love it. Love it. Now you're eating, you're ready to go. Where'd Gabby run off to? She's with Kyle. Oh. So Gabby went out with uh Kyle to do something fun, I guess. Left you all here all, all alone? No, I'm okay with it. You're okay with it? Good. Because he never goes me. You're okay with it? Because what? Never brings me. He never brings you, so, but you're okay with that? Yeah. What? Because he just spends time here. Spend time here with you? That's good enough? Plus you're sick, but that's okay. Still nursing my cold. Slowly going away though. So uh, we had a little discussion before Laura and I, and I said that she needs to eat to feel better, and she says she'll eat when she feels better. I think you need nutrients. You can't just drink water the whole time. Drinking water is not good for you. I don't believe in it, but anyway, I know drinking water is good for you, but I mean, when you're sick, you can't just drink water. So, who's right? Me or Laura? Write it down in the comments below and give me your opinion. All right, so I'm gonna end tonight's vlog and uh, hopefully Sophia won't be running around tomorrow morning. And I'll be running around tomorrow morning too, because I have to. But I'm gonna end tonight's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.